So recently I needed a GSM module for an up and coming project. And after looking at the cost at my local shops, I started to reconsider the whole project. But then that got me thinking, I've seen phones for cheaper than this, and I figured a phone is just a GSM module with more components. If anything, you're also getting a screen, speaker, lithium cell, and lithium charger as well. And then lastly, I realized I had a bunch of old phones just lying around in my drawer anyway. And so in this project, we're going to be looking at how to repurpose an old phone as a GSM module for an Arduino. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to figure out how we're going to do this. I'm sure if you really had the skill and the time, you could locate and remove the GSM module from the phone yourself. But that really isn't worth the effort, so we're going to be taking a little bit of a different approach. Whenever a phone receives an SMS, it either lights up, vibrates, or makes a sound. Now, knowing this, we could take advantage of this by tapping into these features. I'm going to be opening up the phone and tapping into the rumble motor connection, and then using an Arduino or some code to detect when it receives an SMS. Now, obviously, a GSM module has a lot more features and can do a lot more with an Arduino. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need the following. A microcontroller of any kind, I'm going to be using the Arduino Uno, an old phone, a working SIM card, and some LEDs to test stuff out. Now, I should mention that the phone you choose is actually really important. You'll find that there are two different categories of phones. The first being sort of dumb phones that can only receive SMSs and phone calls and are too old for apps. And the second being older Android and iOS phones like this old S4 Mini here. What's great about using these phones is you can actually install an instant messenger like WhatsApp and trigger the rumble motor without having a SIM card if the phone's on Wi-Fi. However, to get the concept across, I'm going to be using this old BlackBerry Curve with an active SIM card. So now we can start taking the phone apart, which is actually really fun because we get to see how much circuitry can be condensed down onto this tiny little board. From here, we need to try and find the rumble motor, which can be pretty hard to find, but ultimately it's as easy as Googling the part number on your phone followed by rumble motor position. Once we've located it, we need to sort the two wires to each terminal of the rumble motor. Now this can be kind of hard because it's a tiny surface mount, but with patience and really small wires, it really is possible. The only thing you need to avoid is making solder bridges on the connections. Once these are soldered on, we can hook them up to a multimeter and make sure our plan works as intended. And to see the polarity of each wire. Now giving it a quick test, we can see that the motor is supplied one and a half volts from the phone, which will work great with our Arduino. So now we need to use and write some code to take advantage of this. First things first, let's just make sure the Arduino can actually read voltages from the phone using the example sketch analog read. Plug the ground wire from the rumble motor into the ground pin of the Arduino and then the positive wire gets connected to A0. Now the example code can be uploaded and we can open up the serial plotter to see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing we see is it's definitely easy to see when the rumble motor is activated, which makes our code a lot easier to write. And the second thing we see is that sometimes the signal jumps a little bit by itself, which is common, so we're going to have to account for this in our code. This is to make sure my lights don't randomly turn on and off throughout the day. Now, because I'm going to be making the SMS lighting system a future video, today I'm just going to be using an LED in place of my room's whole lighting system. But you get the idea. Okay, so let's get started with writing our code. Okay, so here in the setup, we're saying that pin 7 is going to act as an output for the LED. Okay, so then here in the loop, we're saying if the sensor value, which is the value of pin A0, is above 50, to turn on the LED and send rumble on to the serial monitor. The reason the threshold value is 50 is because none of those little spikes earlier have reached 50, so they shouldn't cause my light to turn on randomly. And then lastly, we say if the value is not above 50, to keep the LED off and send rumble off to the serial monitor. And that's all the code is doing. Really basic when compared to the code needed for an actual GSM module. Now, before we can start testing everything, we need to set up our phone so it works the exact way we want it to. For starters, the phone I chose would buzz twice when it received an SMS, which in this case would only turn the LED on twice. However, if we plan to use this in a different project, like for example, the motorized blind project from a past video, this double buzz would cause the blinds to open and then close instantly, which is really not that useful. However, it's a pretty easy fix. All we have to do is go into the phone's messaging settings and set it to only vibrate once when receiving a message. The phone you choose may have different issues like this, so make sure you check it out beforehand. With that being said, we can connect our LED to the original wiring diagram with the cathode going to pin 7 and the anode going to ground and give it a test. You should see that when the phone receives an SMS, the LED lights up and the relevant command is sent through to the serial monitor. Now, before we wrap this video up, it's definitely worth noting that you don't have to take your phone apart to do this project. For example, you could just put a light sensor over the indication LED and use that as a sensor to see when the phone gets a message, or put a sound sensor near it. There are lots of solutions if you'd rather not destroy your phone. 
Let me know what you think about using a phone as a GSM module in the comments. Is the cheaper price worth a lack of features? Links to all the code and some more detailed instructions can be found in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.